Hi everyone, today I am doing the two month baby update for Violet. I am so sorry it's so late. In two more days she's going to be three months old, but I figured it's better now than never. So yeah, we've been busy. You can see that Violet has gotten really big and almost three months old. And um, the last time when I took her to the doctor, she weighed nine pounds, 13 ounces, 22 and a half inches long. And she was about nine weeks old, almost 10 weeks. She has really good skin, the doctor said, um, so she, there's no eczema or dry skin issues, nothing like that. Her diaper rash that she had gotten rid of, she got back. And I finally figured out that it really had nothing to do with her going to the bathroom a lot because she still was going to the bathroom a lot when she got rid of the rash. And the rash is actually from the baby wipes. So Miss Violet has to use very expensive Pampers wipes only because they have I guess a special um, formula where it doesn't affect her skin but if I use any of the cheap brands because I switched um, I used BJ's brand and I ran out so I had the Pampers left and I used that and all of a sudden the rash disappeared which I thought I didn't think anything of it until I bought another um, store brand and that also gave her a rash but then when I switched back to the Pampers wipes it totally went away again so we're sticking to Pampers wipes but she does use the Love's diapers and they work just as good as the Pampers so at least I saved money somehow right um she's very happy she's smiling like crazy all the time now she talks to me all the time right Violet you want to say something um at her uh, two month visit she had gotten four vaccines Three were shots and one was an oral vaccine, which I thought was interesting because my other daughters never had an oral vaccine, so that's a new thing. And she did cry when she got her shots, of course, and then, you know, after that, it was a little bit swollen on her legs, but she did really well, no fever, um, really happy about that. Now they're making vaccines where they really don't cause fevers, so I was excited about that. Um... She is still not sleeping through the night. I am so wait. I can't wait. I can't wait for her to sleep through the night. She wakes up sometimes every hour. Um, I get lucky if she sleeps two hours, but that's really rare. She's just really hungry. I'm still breastfeeding her, so I think that that has a lot to do with you know her not feeling full. And you know, a couple times I would try the pacifier. She's really not taking the pacifier as much. Um, only when we go out do I give her the pacifier and sometimes at night when she's sleeping and she wakes up and she's fussing I'm like let me just try the pacifier see if that'll you know help her go back to sleep and sometimes it does if she's you know not hungry but other than that during the day she really doesn't like the pacifier she actually gags she will push it out with her tongue and she is not really a pacifier girl but um She's not a thumb sucker either, which is good. That's why I started with the pacifiers, because my other two were thumb suckers, and it was too late. But at least if she's not taking the pacifier, she's not sucking her thumb. So she definitely is really good with that. Um, she has a little bit of separation anxiety. If I give her to somebody, she knows that it's not me, and she will start crying, and she won't stop until I come pick her up. And it's, I think, a little early for that. Um... She's definitely not spoiled, but I love to hold her all the time. I don't think that you can spoil a baby. Um, and she's actually, I think, a calmer baby when I do put her down. And she's fed and she's changed and, you know, all of that. She doesn't cry. So I would say that she's a really great baby. All of the things that, you know, we had problems from the beginning, like in the newborn, the first, you know, the first couple weeks stage, um, has pretty much gone away. She sleeps in her co-sleeper, but if she's not sleeping well or falling asleep, then I do put her in the bed next to me, which um, I am very careful about where she is. I know that she's in there. And, um, yeah, so that's about it, I would say, for her two-month update. She has definitely been getting stronger. She loves to play with toys now. She has her little toy right here, Tabitha. We call it Tabitha because she has these tags on her. I call it, like, tabs. They love these kind of toys. This is by Taggies. And she has one of those, like, play mats with the dangling toys. And she bats at it. And she lo oh, my God, she loves to play with toys. Right, Violet? Say, I love toys. I'm so excited that she loves toys because 
I don't know. Toys are exciting. I love I love toys. I love buying toys. And um, so, yeah, my other two daughters did not like to play with toys. So I'm excited that Violet likes to play with toys. Right? And every day I have to give her a bath because she just smells. <laughs> she smells. She's a stinky girl. She does a lot of throwing up. Um, what I did find out, like, she was having these really bad coughing fits to where um, they were really scary. And she was, like, inhaling her throw up, pretty much, where she couldn't breathe. And I realized that she has acid reflux. So she's technically allergic to, like, the milk protein. So I cannot, I'm still breastfeeding her. So I can't have milk. I have to have almond milk. Um, and that has helped a great deal of, you know, and as she's getting older, she's getting stronger. So she's not um, inhaling throw up anymore so yeah those are the first couple weeks of life like I would say up until about seven or eight weeks nine weeks even where she was scaring me giving me a heart attack bless you bless you bless you and so I have crazily decided that I'm gonna try and attempt to make her christening gown her christening is going to be in May so I have plenty of time I have been working on so many projects that's why I've been so busy and I haven't made an update but um, I've been, I, I purchased a sewing and embroidery machine and so I am embroidering things now as a little hobby and f for extra money. So it, I just started that. So if you're interested, I am making burp cloths that are embroidered with a design of your choice and your child's name. So if anybody's interested, I'll probably put the link down below so that you could check it out. You can order right from me, and if you have any designs that you have in mind, I could also create them to put on a burp cloth because I have been going through burp cloths like crazy for her, and I thought it was a great option for a gift for somebody that has a baby or is going to have a baby. Um, I had to purchase like two more packs of burp cloths for her just because we go through so many because she does throw up a lot and spit up and make messes and um, you can never have too many so yeah so that's what we've been doing and some of my favorite um, burp cloths not the ones that I make the ones that I make are actually made from pre-fold cloth diapers but um, these this is one of the um, burp cloths that I have and it's made out of cotton it's really soft and that's why I prefer them and they're from Babies R Us. They're actually the Babies R Us brand and they also have a brand called Spa Silk which is also really good but um, I prefer the Babies R Us so that's what I have tons of. Yeah so yeah that's what we're doing and for me postpartum wise I feel fantastic. I feel great. I'm back to normal. I feel my body is pretty much back to normal. Um, my stomach is still not you know flat it probably never will be flat if you think that your stomach will probably ever go back to your pre-pregnancy um it might if you work hard on it but for me after my two daughters and it never got to where I was even as thin as I was or in shape but I'm pretty happy with my body after I had Violet I feel like I went back pretty quick um to even before you know my pre-pregnancy size I would say I was even a little bit heavier before I got pregnant with her so and I'm eating a lot I have where I'm eating too much I'm eating way more than I've ever eaten my whole life probably and I think it has to do with breastfeeding her and I could see that I'm not gaining any weight I mean I don't have a scale but I can you know you can tell how your clothes fit so yeah pretty much I know that I'm eating a lot but I'm sure it's because I'm eating four too because I have to feed her as well so you wanna say hi she's attached to my hair She's getting so big. She's um, in size 0 to 3, but some of the pants, like if it's a two-piece outfit, the pants are too big. So she's kind of still in newborn on the bottoms and 0 to 3 on top. So it fits her really, really well. See, this is a 0 to 3, like old navy top. And then like newborn bottoms. I believe these are newborn. I don't know. They might not be, but I'm pretty sure they are, right? We took a nice nap today because I had no sleep last night. I had like one hour. She loves my hair. You want to see your dolly? So I'll insert some uh, pictures and maybe some video of her playing with her mat that she likes. 
So I'll see you for her three month update really soon. Bye everybody. You like that? Is that fun? You having fun? Yeah? What's that, a froggy? You like your toys, huh? Yeah. It's playtime. <laughs>